Soul. It's been wonderful. Everybody Likewise, Gretch. Follow this man at, is that UBL Soul? That's UBL Soul. UBL Soul. Here Check we are. Out. Have a wonderful time. I hope you catch your train. I hope so, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to go into loser semis. Bankai versus Mr. E. Demise Mr. E. Uh, Mr. E's been doing pretty good on this loser's run right here. I'd say he's been looking pretty confident against everyone he's been going up against. And we're going to see how he deals against Bankai fresh out from winter side. All right, yep. So that's the funny thing. That Squirtle side B, as punishable as it may look in some scenarios, is usually not punishable. You do see a Pokemon switch right there, just in case there is a punish uh, that does have intangibility frames on it. Right. So that was interesting. I wonder if that was a change there because of the high percent or because he was afraid of a punish. Speaking of punishes, no kill on that one, but Flare Blitz does open up a wide possibility. Nice, good chase. Very clean, very simple. Nice, takes his jump. Vine Whip goes very far, though. Cannot ever count out Tethers. They are a wonderful, good recovery. Uses the intangibility once again to get out of a combo. Reverses the situation now. It's back off stage with fire. Doesn't actually hit him with it. I'm surprised. Although that does have invincibility, I don't think the invincibility lasts that long. All right, so let's go for the up smash. But Mr. E is not committing hard to any jumps yet. He's got to earn those. All right, let's go for the up smash. Fade away Nair, very safe option to go for. Okay, so you see a little bit of a trap there where uh, he had air dodged through. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He had air dodged through the up air, but Mr. E tries to go for a forward tilt as opposed to something like a grab for the chase. So it was basically a mix up between hip grab. Um, and I guess he felt confident that Bankai was going to go for something a little wacky there. But Bankai with uh, control, wait a minute. Now sitting at 153%, he's got to try to get something going here. Sticking with the Charizard right now, trying to look for these stray hits. Gets him there, gets him back. Get up attack's going to get him clipped, but he's still not dead. 180, no rage on Lucina. There it is. That's another thing. Mr. E's got this really nice movement, right? So, you know, he's got his spacing figured out. He'll jump up, nair, fade away, cover a couple options, but he's very, very strong with his uh, with his ledge grabs, with stealing the ledge away from you and then back airing you. And that's a very valid option at any percent, but especially at kill percents. All right. Pretty good space. Razor leaves right here. Tech chase. Nothing for it. Back air chains. You see him spacing out very nice. Bankai not committing too hard here because he's got the full stage. That was a little bit of a risky because this Razor Leaf doesn't suffer anything for it. All right, shields. Good call. You will uh, oftentimes see Ivysaur actually drop down from the ledge once again and then do an upbeat past it, which is a very valid way to get people off, especially at high percent, so that'll more or less give you the stage. Chasing, threatening on top of the platform as well. Last back off. Tried to go for a down air or something there. Doesn't get him in time. Now that upbeat from Charizard also does have, I don't know if it's super armor proper, but it's definitely some kind of armor, which makes it very difficult to actively challenge. Gets right under him. Counter will do it. Oh no, he won't. Oh my god, Charizard is beefy. All right, this is a back off stage. All right, that was pretty good. Very nice fare, uh, very wide on that and very hard to avoid. Charizard isn't quite fast enough to get out of the way if uh, Mr. E commits to a direction and Bankai has decided on that direction. Pretty convincing game one. I think Bankai still has stuff that he's making work here, but a lot of the game is played at the ledge, trying to get back from Mr. E. And typically, when you're in a situation where both players are on even footing, um, and one of them is pushed off that in disadvantage, uh, even if they come out of that unscathed, if they continuously get put in that situation, they're probably going to come up less than the opponent who isn't in that um, Which is like the most basic way to say, stop being in disadvantage, Bob. Right? Come on. All right, actually goes for the up tilt out of shield there. That was reversed, which was interesting, because that makes it slightly safer on shield, but still gets a punish. All right, dancing play. Nice, good spacing out for the Nair, being very careful about his jumps, up being out during the multi-hit. <laughs> 
Chase off. Yep, still has his jump. He's not burning that early. Nice. Gets him for a little bit of percent. It's going to be a toss off stage. Chase off. Yep, Ivy Sword with. All right. A little bit of Razor Leaf to get him back on the stage, but he's sent right back to the other. And we're seeing this again. A lot of time spent at disadvantage. Even if he gets back to stage like this, he's knocked right back out over to the ledge, and he's got to work his way back. And more often than not, he's coming up negative for it. Nice! That's really good. So, Ivysaur's forward smash, uh, believe it or not, can cover pretty much every option depending on the timing. Uh, and because of the pullback, it's deceptively ranged and hard to roll past. Um, that being said, he just looked like he had gone for a jump get up, I think. But does cover. Sitting on the higher percent now. All right, that girl will take it. Shark him on the ledge. Very low commitment option. Speaking of sharking, though, uh, giving Bankai sort of a free way to get a couple up airs on him with Charizard, that is beefy damage. Alright, let's go for the read on that one. Drop some cover for it. Okay. Sort of threatening the space there before he puts the hitbox out. Not a bad idea to get a read for what Mr. E wants to do on the ledge. A lot of down smashers coming out. See, that's a little bit of a low hanging hitbox right there. And Mr. E's still quite committed to the air, so I'm not sure how much success he'll find with the move. But he seems confident in it. Alright, tangibility frames to get out of the combo there. He was slightly off the chase, but that may have sealed the stuff. Right. Follow up there. Oh, yo, he still got him. That's crazy. All right, so that was so odd. Did he turn around after the change, or was he just turned around before it happened? I'm not sure. Either way, a really good kill with the back air, and now once again, similar to last stock. Bankai, well, there he goes. Bankai getting a little bit of extra percent, but still uh, trying to fight his way back on stage. He's doing well from the disadvantage right now, though. He's definitely making it work for himself. Nice parry, but he's still up on the platform there. He's got to find his way. Oh, I thought he was going to start trucking his there, but he didn't get quite a chance. All right, chasing. Bankai landing with the back air right there. Not a bad option. Was pretty well spaced at that. Fall back, raise relief, but it's a little low to the ground, so he's not going to cover that air. And Mr. E is still very much committed to jumping. Oh, air dodge in there. That leads to a chase. Bad playing the spacing out on this one right now. Does give up the stage, though. Goes for the chase for the kill. Nothing. Not yet. Oh, that is... Mm, so, if you space Razor Leaf, that is the last thing you want to happen, is landing on your opponent after throwing it. That's a very punishable situation. He might have... I don't know if there was a better punish there, but there could have been. All right. Frame traps into the air dodge. Oh, yo, he got him with it. Okay. <laughs> very nice. So, we've seen that tail to come to work today. I think that's the second time we've seen the F-tilt on... I think that was the neutral getup? I'm not sure how active that move is, but Bonkai's making it seem pretty active. There he is. Still well spaced, mind you. He's got that range down, he knows. He's not just mashing. So we're going into a game three situation here. This has been really interesting watching these two, right? Because I wouldn't call Bonkai random, definitely not, but he's sort of playing I guess by the seat of his pants, right? Because mystery has got him on the ledge for a great portion of the set. Uh, even though he's won the second game, that's not to say that he's playing poorly. Um, being in disadvantage doesn't mean that you're doing bad. It just means that right now you have a bit of a hill to climb. And Bankai's got the creative answers to keep coming back and to have ultimately gotten the winning game too. So let's see if Mr. E keeps up this dominating ground pressure at mid-stage. If that happens, he can still continue with this creativity. That can get him a win and move on into Loser's Finals. Good grab on the Rekka. Very patient. Yo, actually got to bait that out, but Mr. E does go through the platform. That is a mix-up in itself. It can be hard to chase him. Did he get a jump? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, drop, drop down, up B. Goes for the grab, but Ivysaur does have a slow grab. That is a bit of a commitment. Nice, we'll again. Razor Leaf back onto the stage. 
Mystery jumps right into his grab range. Back off stage. So when he goes for that tether, that's very low risk, but that also means that he can't do anything like put a Razor Leaf out to try to get himself back on stage. It's giving up, I guess, an ability to keep his ledge a little safer for uh, the opportunity to avoid any ledge guarding or edge guarding. Space. Mm -hmm. See, that was a good call right there. Because he'd gone for the fair, or not the fair, the forward tilt, um, if he had landed that shield right here, uh, if it had not broken shield, it would have been very small. And removing the ability for Charizard to shield at that percent is a really scary thing. If he changes to Squirtle, he's just as likely to die. If he sticks as Charizard, he's got a very big hurt box. So that was a really smart option to for. Gets himself out of the combo, but back into it with the double jab. Now he's getting tossed all the way up to the top of the stage, getting sharked on the platforms here, and eating a lot of percent for it for the Charizard change. All right, Shield Breaker for the Shield Pressure. Will that... No, he's not quite at the platform. If that got to the top platform, that probably would have killed. All right, roll to avoid that grab. Mystery doesn't want none of it. Chasing off stage for the fair. Armor's right through the up. Very nice. And you see, he actually went off stage to avoid the grab again. He knows that Bankai wants to look for it because it would be the go-to option right here. Maybe not the lowest risk, but low risk relatively for Charizard. All right, double jab actually dropped out. He up piece to get out of it. He's not having the grab. He won. <laughs> okay, so a new stock. <laughs> Mr. E did not want to fall into those claws. God. All right. So we see, once again, juggling him up to the top stage, burns his air dodge, which is going to get him punished. All right, get up attack. What's more, grab, back off stage. Got to work his way back. Ivysaur can react to the roll there. The mystery does so. Takes him back to the other side of the stage. It's an edge guard situation. Red trap situation. All right. Chase from Bankai. He's got a lot of work to do, honestly, if he wants to bring this one back. He can do it. We have seen him do this last game, but he's racking on a lot of percent here. It's looking kind of dangerous. Nice. I didn't think he would get that. I wonder if that... Um... So you saw Mr. E do the down tilt with the stage slam, and I wonder if that had brought him a little bit closer to allow him to get that shield grab. I'm not sure. I don't know what uh, Ivysaur's shield grab range is. Nice. Good bait there. Almost drops the punish, but still gets it. Still keeping on it, making good work of the stock. All right, the up smash will do it. Honkai prepping himself for a stock of a lifetime. He's got to make a lot of work here. Even a straight back air could do it. That running uh, F tilt might have honestly done it. All right, spacing out with the back airs. Nice, not punishable from where he was putting them out. Tossing out these razor leaves is a risky business. If he gets one wrong space, that's it. All right, very patient. Oh, he's letting him come back to the ground, but he's taking data in. He's trying to see what he can do. That is a punish. Only grab, no kill off in this one, but he's sent off stage once again. Any stray hit will do it. Besides that one. <laughs> Maybe not any stray hit, but stray hits are becoming increasingly less survivable. Oh, will that do it? Yes, it will. All right. Very nice, Mr. E. Falling up air. Normally considered a combo tool for sword users, but can kill when your opponent's at uh, 190 or so. That's maybe not so survivable. So that was pretty good. I think we did see 